In this video, I'll show you how to use the Minecraft field command in both Minecraft Java and Minecraft Bedrock. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. So there's one difference between using Minecraft Java and Minecraft Bedrock, and that is to go and enable your coordinates. We need to go and have our coordinates enabled because we need to go and decide where you want to go and make the cube from. To enable coordinates on Minecraft Bedrock, which is Xbox, PlayStation, Mobile, and Windows 10 edition, then pause the game and go and tap on settings. And then in settings, what you'll need to do is make sure game is selected and then scroll down and so you go and see the option for show coordinates and go and enable it just like so. Now, as you can see, you can go and see your coordinates and to enable coordinates on Minecraft Java, all you need to do is go and press F3 on your keyboard and that's it. Now, what you need to do is go and decide where you want to go and uh, sort of use this fill command. So you could make a wall with fill command uh, or you could make huge cubes. So in this case, I'm going to go and make a cube. So firstly, we need to go and get the first coordinate and this should be the lowest point uh, of one of the corners of your, your shape where you want to go and fill. So in this case, I want to go and start it here. So then what you need to do is just go and note down those coordinates, um, so whether that be by taking a picture of them or drawing them or just writing them down, it doesn't really matter, but I've got mine now. Then all you want to do is go and decide the highest point in the other corner. So because I'm making a cube, I'm gonna go and walk straight across here just like so keeping it pretty uh, pretty symmetrical. Then all I'm gonna do is stack up because I want uh, to go and get a high coordinate just like so. So let me go up a few more blocks. I want to go and do it from here. Then what you need to do is go and note these coordinates down again by taking a picture and writing them down however you want to go and do it. Now that we know that, I'm just gonna go and remove these blocks here and then we can go and actually use the command. And so then just move out of the area because otherwise you'll be inside of it. And then all you want to do is go and press on T on your keyboard like so on both Minecraft Java or Bedrock and type in slash and then type in fill. And then what we need to do is go and enter in the coordinates. So enter in the first set of coordinates that you wrote down. I've written in the first set of coordinates. So all you need to do is keep the format as exactly exactly as you noted them down in and you don't need to add any commas, literally just keep it space in between each one. And then you need to go and enter the next set of coordinates, which I'm gonna do now. And then once you've done that, add another space. And now you, what you want to do is type in the block, which you want to go and fill it in with. So in this case, I'm just gonna go and type in diamond. So I'll type in diamond underscore block like so, and that's literally it. Then you can go and hit enter like so, and there we go. We've now gone and filled this area with the type of block that we went and selected. And if I go and mine through, as you can see, it's diamond all the way through. And that's it. You can then go and repeat that command using different types of blocks and creating different shapes or just filling different areas. And it's that easy, guys. If you found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.